All right, guys, what's going on? Levi Trumbull reporting here. So today we're going to challenge the status quo a little bit. We're going to talk about an issue that some people have voice concerns over, but I want to bring it out on a much larger scale, and that is the issue of governmental transparency and the idea of going into closed session. That's right, going into closed sessions. Now, if you have a local governmental body, then perhaps you will notice that sometimes, and this happens here, I think more often than it should here in Frederick County, but this idea that the government goes behind closed doors and does business behind closed doors without the public being able to hear what is happening or to be able to get a report on what had happened after it is finished. So again, this happens more than I would like it to here in Frederick County, but there is law here in Maryland where a governmental agency, a body, can go into closed session for particular things. Now, it's not mandatory, it is discretionary. And I wanna be clear on something. If you are a governmental body, you have the right, you have the choice, the ability to remain in open session and not go into closed session. However, often enough, the members of whatever governmental body it is will vote to go into closed session. And you know what? It's not a partisan issue. It's not Republican. It's not Democrat. It's transparency. Now, I'm here in Frederick, and this is how the whole issue of Amazon data centers got to the forefront of public attention. It was because the planning commission was doing business behind closed doors about Amazon data centers in the Sugarloaf region, and there was NDAs involved, a whole bunch of secretive stuff that people didn't know about up until the point where the Sugarloaf Alliance sued Frederick County, and then records came out, and we subsequently learned that yes, there was backroom meetings with Amazon and there was things happening behind closed doors that the public didn't know. And when the public finally did know, due to a court releasing this information, well, the public had input. The public was not so happy. A certain faction of the public was dissatisfied. And this goes to the heart of what I'm saying right now. Business should not be done behind closed doors. So with that being said, I'm going to bring you a clip of it precisely what I'm talking about, and then we will come back and we'll close out. But I think it is in the best interest, the public interest, for government bodies to stop going into closed session. And with that, let's roll footage. Shortly, the council will be making a motion to go into closed session. The reason for tonight's closed session is to evaluate and interview a possible candidate uh, that the council may consider for the confirmation to the position of housing division director designee and to evaluate and inter interview two possible candidates that the council may consider to serve on the Board of Appeals. At this point, I will entertain a motion. Council Member Keegan Air. I move to, uh, for the council to go into closed session under Maryland Annotated Code Article 3-305B1 to discuss the appointment, employment, assignment, promotion, de discipline, demotion, compensation, removal, resignation, or performance evaluation of appointees, employees, or officials over whom we have jurisdiction. Council Member Carter. Thank you, Vice President. Um, I, I've been told before that you know, we have the right to go into closed session. Uh, however, just because we have the right to do something doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. Um, and I'll, I'll read from our council rules that the council may proceed in considering an appointment by the county executive in any manner it deems prudent. Uh, and so, therefore, we may stay in open session and interview these candidates uh, to allow the public some sort of input on uh, filling these vacancies we have. Uh, and I think it's very prudent that we allow that sort of communication between our body and the people present today uh, to have that sort of um, involvement in the process. I think it's no question that Frederick County has a transparency problem and going ahead and Proceeding in open session is one small footstep uh, in favor or moving towards an open government. Uh, thank you, Councilmember Carter. Any other discussion? If not, uh, we'll call the roll. Councilmember Carter. Nay. Councilmember Donald. Aye. Council Vice President Duckett. Aye.
Councilmember Keegan Ayer. Aye. Councilmember Knapp. Aye. And Councilmember McKay. Aye. Oh, that motion passes 5-4. One opposed my microphone was off. Sorry. Well, that is a wrap for today's meeting. That was quick. Uh, our next meeting. All right. So there you have it right there. You have the Frederick County Council going into a closed session for what? So they can interview a prospective employee about a governmental position. Why should that be something that the public cannot view, cannot access, can have public comment on. I mean, listen, guys, I want to be clear on something. I cannot say that in every instance or in any instance that nefarious activity is happening behind closed doors. I can't say that. And neither can you. Why? Because we don't know what's happening behind closed doors. That's the whole point. That's the whole point. So let's go back to what I was talking about. You have the government going into closed session over an interview with a prospective employer, employee. Why? Why is that necessary? Why is that necessary when in fact the government, this is not a private business, this is the government. Why is that necessary under the context of not only do we pay the salaries for all the council members up there, but this is somebody, this person who's going to be interviewed, this is somebody whose salary the taxpayers are going to pay. We are going to pay their salary. Why should we not get the chance to see how they do on the interview? And a bigger issue is when it revolves around the issues of investigating, when a potential employee has done something that is potentially unlawful or in opposition to the public interest, and if there needs to be disciplinary action taken against a employee of the government, why is that business that has to be done behind closed doors? Shouldn't the public know if an employee of Frederick County or any other jurisdiction, shouldn't they know, shouldn't the constituents, the body of the government know the people, shouldn't we know if that person has done something wrong when we pay their salaries? Shouldn't we know? It's a question. Maybe you think not, but I, yeah, I think so. So again, I think governmental bodies should stay in open session and there should be very limited circumstances to which a closed session meeting should take place. And this is something that happens all the time and usually with unanimous consent and I don't know why. So with that, Levi Trumbull reporting in Frederick.